What a nice couple, Mr. and Mrs. Booth. Booth. Mr. and Mrs. Booth. Yeah, and he's standing for council. Good guy. Uh, it was quite funny because the cop car was still browsing around outside. <laughs> They're tracking me down. They think I'm going to get into trouble or something. Yeah, dear. See you later. I've just called on Peter Collins, is it? Yeah, Peter Collins, uh, and he owns Waimati Picture Famers. He's standing for council on the Waimati Council. And I had a yarn to him, and uh, he thought it was a good idea, uh, but he wants to think about it. Well, you can't, if you're going to make a decision, you've got to make big, quick decisions. You can't be sitting around taking days to make uh, a decision. It's either a good idea or it's not a good idea, okay? So I've got to come back now if he wants to go on it. So it's a bit of a nuisance, but that's all right. He's only learning. He'll, he'll be right. I'm standing outside the Waimati Funeral Home. I'm not booking in here. I'm just uh, looking for a fella by the name of uh, Mr. Gavigan. I believe he's standing for uh, Arthur, is it? Arthur Gavigan? Standing for council. So I'll see, see if I can go and find him. Now, sorry. No joy at the Waimati Funeral Home. Arthur doesn't want to be videoed. He's got it all sussed. He's an expert on computers and he's got it all organised and he he doesn't see why he should have to spend a hundred bucks. So, okay, let's see if he can spend millions when they get to the council. Uh, right, let's move on and find someone else, okay? See you later. I'll just go down to the council and see if any more nominations come in and then I'll head home, I'll go to uh, St Andrews uh, there's two guys standing down there Tom uh, O'Connor and Stuart Thompson so I'll go and fight, see if I can locate them on the way back to Timaru okay good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Ron Bishop here, I'm at St Andrews at the moment I'm talking to Tom O'Connor who's standing for uh, uh, council for the Waimata Council, and we're trying to locate a man by the name of um, Stuart Thompson. He's also standing. He lives out here somewhere. Uh, this is the Paria Otaya Makiki Ward. We've just rung the council, and we are allowed to look at the file, but they can't give us the name, uh, uh, the address of the guy, or the phone number. Isn't that terrible? Oh well, we'll just keep going. That's the way the councils work these days. Listen, thanks, Tom, <coughs> for your time. I'll have to keep going. It's my first day in Waimati to promote Waimati. Uh, and I've called on the, the Craig Rowley, who's standing for mayor. Uh, he did a video on him, and he gave me $100 plus a donation. Uh, the Peter McArray, the other one from uh, Hakatara Mia, my runger, he's away apparently overseas at the moment or somewhere. Power at um, Makiki Ward, there was two vacancies there. Tom O'Connor uh, and Stuart Thompson. We can't find Stuart Thompson and Tom uh, just can't afford the $100 uh, that I want to uh, cost of videoing him. No. So the Waimati Ward, uh, Morris Beath, Buth. He did a video for me and shared his vision for Waimati and gave me a donation. His wife gave me a donation. Uh, Peter Collins is thinking about it. He doesn't want to spend $100 if he doesn't have to. And Arthur Gavigan, uh, no, he's got, he knows all about computers, he reckon, and he doesn't need any assistance from me. So that's my first day in Waimati. And tomorrow I'm going to Omaru. See how I get on down there. So... Till then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.